Okay, so welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add effects. And so this is the physical representation of that. We're going to take um, the two uplink ports on the 2248 fabric extender, and we're going to connect them to our two Nexus 5000s using a virtual port channel. Um, so we, we set up the peer link in the last video, um, and, and now we're ready to actually attach a device that's going to use um, a virtual port channel. So that's what we're going to cover in the video. So let's get to it. Okay, so a show interface brief gives us the, the full uh, port list. We're going to use Ethernet 1.5 in order to uh, do this particular port. We're going to enable the FEX feature. As, as I said before, the, the feature FEX is needed on Nexus boxes or feature commands are needed on Nexus boxes in order to enable features. In this case, we're, we're adding the, the FEX feed because that's what we're adding to the system. And, and now you can see that the, the FEX has been discovered here. And, and what that basically means is that it sees that the, the port has a, a FEX connected to it and the model is a 48 port, one gig FEX. So now we're gonna go to the, the 1.5 um, ethernet port and change the switch port mode to FEX and then we're going to associate it with FEX 100. And basically what that means is that this particular FEX is going to be associated to one card 100. So this will be, you'll see later in the video that you know, you'll have port 101 slash one. This can be anything you want starting at 100. Um, and so you'll, you'll see that when I do a show interface brief later on. Also, because I'm doing a virtual port channel, we have to now, um, well, let's go show, show FEX first. And now you can see that it's connected instead of discovered. Um, and you can see it, it sees the serial number and it sees the FEX number as 100, whereas before it was blank. So now we're going to do the other side and we're going to enable feature FEX on the other side and basically replicate um, the, the things that we saw. Um, and it doesn't see the FEX right away. Um, so you have to, as soon as you turn it on, it runs the FEX protocol, then you can see it's discovered. Uh, we're going to go to the same port on the other side, as you saw on the diagram. Um, enable the, uh, the FEX switch port mode associated to the same line card. This, this configuration has to be the same um, on both sides. And so now you can see that it's, it's connected. And in another second or two, uh, when we pull it up, it'll, it'll be associated to 100 as well. And, and now you can see that the, the FEX has come online because of the virtual port channel configuration. Um, it's done both on the same side, so um, the FEX is now online because both sides, it can see um, both ports because you enabled FEX on both sides. Um, now you add it to channel group two. I'm just choosing two as a random thing. Now the, the key thing here is you can see that it says the FEX offline. And the reason it became offline is because I haven't configured virtual port channels yet. So it sees one port connected to the left switch, one port connected to the right. So that's why it came online. But then when it tried to actually do the port channel, it was not able to. And that's key because that means it's offline until I actually enable the channel group commands. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and replicate the same commands on the on the port channel. So we say switch port mode FEX fabric, and then we say um, FEX associate 100, but then we give it a VPC number, and that's 100. And so that, again, I just use 100 because it's the same as the line card number. It's just easy to follow. Um, we're going to do the same thing here. We'll, we'll make it part of channel group two, um, and then we'll go to the port channel and, and create that as well, the same commands. Okay, and now we'll give it a minute and, and everything should come back online. And also on the show VPC, you can now see that we have those port 100, that, that Ethernet 100, 1, 1, and 1, 2. Now the reason why those are up is because I actually have a server, I have two servers plugged in. I have one plugged into the port 1, 1, and one into port 2. The others are down because uh, I don't have anything plugged in. But as you can see, that both sides are configured identically, everything is up, 
um, and now it'll take just a few minutes uh, for the for the other side on the right to actually get all the ports. Um, it just takes a second for it to for it to come up. Okay, now it says online because the vir virtual port channel protocol has done its thing, and now you'll see all the ports on that side as well. And there you go. And again, I haven't created any VLANs yet other than one, and I have those two servers. That'll be the next video when we, when we actually uh, you know, configure some stuff on the servers but, um, and, and add some VLANs. But the key is to, in these videos is to build up little by little. Okay, so again, on Nexus OS, what's really nice is you can do show run and then a feature. And so these are the things having to do with the VPC feature. So we have port channel one, which is the peer link, port channel two, which is VPC 100, and then the keep alives. So that's all we've configured thus far. And it's the same on both sides. Okay, and the same thing goes true for FEX, right? So we have FEX 100 here. And the, one of the key things is that you, you can see that we have FEX 100 and then the port channels and the actual physical interface as well. Um, one, one thing to note here is the pinning max links one. Um, basically what that means is it's using ether channel mode. Um, when you configure pinning, effects can be configured in, in, in what they call static pinning mode or in ether channel mode. Uh, when you say max links one, that basically means it's going to use ether channel mode. Otherwise, it would use static pinning and you could say like pinning max links four or something like that. And it would use static pinning um, rather than ether channel hashing to determine which servers and which ports on the FEX would actually speak across the uplink ports to the 5K. That, that's what that has to do with. In our case, we're using the ether channel hash to figure all that out. Okay, so let's review. So uh, our goal in this module was to uh, add effects to our system. And you can see here we're going to configure it in a virtual port channel um, with one going to one Nexus 5K on port 1.5, the other one going to port 1.5 on the other side. And here are the results of the configuration. So we basically enabled the FEX feature and then we configured the individual port itself. We put it in a channel group, assigned it a line card number of 100 and changed the switch port mode to FEX fabric. We then went to the port channel 2, which was created when we used the channel group 2 command. We then replicated the FEX fabric and FEX associate commands, and then we gave it a VPC number of 100, which is completely arbitrary, and I just made it the same as the, the FEX number just to keep it straight. We did the same thing on the other side, and then once we did that, we were able to see the results of the configuration, which were basically that all of the parameters had not changed. The peer adjacency was still okay. The peer was alive. The configuration consistency was, was successful. Um, the active VLANs were fine across the peer link on port channel one. The new port channel two had VPC ID 100. And because I had two servers plugged in, I had up and up configured on 100.1.1 and 100.1.2, and those are dynamically created. I don't have any VLANs configured yet other than one, so this is a perfectly working configuration that'll give us the ability to move to the next step, which is to configure some VLANs and uh, get the servers to talk to each other. So that's the result of this configuration.